So one of the biggest success stories from the last year has been a live streamer named Sketch. The speed at which this dude blew up is like something we had not seen in a very long time. He went from streaming in his bedroom to announcing NFL draft picks. With the 123rd pick of the NFL draft, the Houston Texans select Cage Dover. This is just one of many opportunities this man has afforded himself. Now I think I might just be a little bit too old to understand his movement online, and I just don't really spend my free time watching live streams like that. But from what I have seen about him, this is a drama-free person. I've never really heard anyone speak badly about him or anything like that. He seems to vibe with whoever he has around, and overall he seemed like someone just trying to do his own thing who happened to blow up. Yes! I never, hey Sketch, I trust Aaron Hernandez, the highest KD in NFL history. Where's that bitch at? Sorry for cussing. But now someone has attempted to come forward and damage the career of this man, and it all has to do with his past. As someone exposed him for making content on adult websites that appears to be clearly aimed at other men. We didn't even know it, but this dude was the original Huck Tua, or whatever the f*** those Facebook people love right now. I will say, I think some people would be surprised about what some of their favorite content creators, rappers, actors, and really what anyone who's involved in the entertainment industry is doing behind closed doors. One of my favorite rappers, Isaiah Rashad, was actually exposed in this way in a very similar fashion a couple of years back. And it is sad because when these type of things go public, especially with a visual, obviously it can lead people to do horrible things to themselves. And when this stuff did get leaked, thankfully he received a lot of support online. To be honest, bro, I don't give a f Y'all shouldn't give a f that's, that's the past. Why y'all bringing up old shit? <laughs> Anybody that wants to stop f***ing with Sketch or you lost respect for Sketch or you don't want to support Sketch anymore, to be honest, just don't support me either. Hey, man. I'm rocking behind Sketch. Yeah, I'm not about to bully my homie. You know what I'm saying? I'm a straight man. He could be whatever the f he want to be, but that's my homie, and I'm rocking behind him. But he did also receive a lot of hate from other streamers. Every time, nigga. Fuck the f nigga. What, nigga? It's not about you being gay, gang. It's about you not telling nobody <laughs> and hiding it and coming a whole different alias like you're a new person. That's not cool, bro. Of course, Adam22, meanwhile, was looking for his next collab. And one of the biggest people who supported him is actually FaZe Banks, who posted, Not everything needs to be broadcasted and farmed, but since y'all want to jump to crazy assumptions, Sketch told me to post these receipts. Sketch was my homie yesterday, he's my homie today, he'll be my homie tomorrow. You guys are f***ing weirdos. While also sharing these text messages between the two of them. So Banks says, you awake? I'm sorry, bro, I didn't mean to involve y'all. Bro, what do you mean? You're our boy. You didn't have to dip. You didn't involve us in anything, bro. You good? I'm over by the airport. I didn't know what to do. I'm so sorry. So obviously, this was probably like doomsday for Sketch. I'm sure he always knew that there was a possibility that this would one day come out. And he would even admit later that he pretty much thought that his life was over. The boys pulled up on me and woke me up. They wanted to make sure you were good. You good, bro. Come back. We're all here. You're the homie. And I guess that's when Sketch returned. And so it is good to see the community have his back in this way. Sketch would actually boot up his stream and immediately address everything, admitting it was him and saying that he changed from that time in his life. Elephant in the room, I got a haircut. Wasn't planning on doing this today, but I guess so. Okay, I'll start from the top. Look at this, open and honest. That was me. Two years ago, I did some stuff. I'm sorry if you've seen some of the stuff. You know, I'm a changed person. I did not have sexual relations with that man. I'm just kidding. I did. Possibly. I'll be honest. Plan A was, and I will say candidly, was to probably eat a, eat up, well, probably to call it quits if this ever came out. But some people saved me. Shout out Banks. Shout out my parents. Like, shout out y'all. Like, I fucked up, but I'm changed. So it's good for this man that he can now live in his truth. I really do think he handled the situation well. Of course, he did have people like Sneeko who were extremely upset by Sketch. He's genuinely one of the most genuine guys ever. Nigga, no, he wasn't. No, he's not. He lied to you about his life. Two years ago, he was taking it up the ass and getting paid for it. I don't... One of the most genuine guys that he would have been straight up about his life. 
What a crazy thing to keep secret. Five years ago, I talked about like, regrettably going to a swinger party and made jokes about it. To this day, they still bring it up. They're like, fuck, Stinko's a, Stinko, Stinko. I mean, you can't really act like it's the same thing when one person willingly exposed themselves. It was missionary. <laughs> missionary no. legs up. It like was missionary legs, legs up. up. Legs up. Yeah. Oh no! Yeah. That's such a oh, crazy. No. So was he staring at her like in her eyes? Yeah, like deep eye contact. Oh no! Deep eye contact. Yeah. Deep. And the other just had their biggest, darkest secret come to light, and it was not their choice. I saw all these people who have never said a word about Palestine. They don't say a word. Sketch takes it up. To and everyone says, you're the best person ever. I just don't really understand when a supposedly straight man spends this much time thinking about gay people. Like on one hand, he's constantly saying that gay people should be ashamed and that they are a detriment to society. And then on the other hand, he calls this guy a fake coward for not being transparent about a part of his life he seems very ashamed of. Keep in mind, this is the same man who has grifted his way through the last couple of years. And I had to actually scrub the entire internet to find this next clip, but I think it really does explain Sneeko's growing anger towards the gay community. Not, no, but yeah, like, like when I was like 14, yeah. I thought I was gay, I watched gay It's not for me! Bro, I went, to, I went to a gay nightclub with my gay friends. Like, I went to go visit my friend in Massachusetts, like, let's go to a club. It was a gay club, I'm not complaining, but I saw a muscular dude twerking glitter off of his back. And I know that I'm not gay. And while I was editing this video, I had to have stumbled upon what has to be the most ironic tweet of all time. In fact, he was way more up in arms about this situation than he was when the stuff about Dr. Disrespect being a weirdo came out. Like, he was in full support of that creep. Dr. Disrespect, text a girl who's 17 years old, 11 months, 364 days, 59 minutes and 59 seconds! He's the worst person ever! Why? And by the way, guys, that age was never verified, but he did admit it was a minor and it got into the grounds of inappropriate. Sneeko just seems to say these things because it makes his pronounce argument sound better in his head. The age of consent is maturity. It's the age of puberty, once the body is mature. But I guess what should you expect when this is your mentor in life? Uh, it's just because we have a different idea of what it means to be a child. The general principle in Islam is, you know, you can do what you kind of want so long as, I'm not going to say you can do what you want so long as you're harming. You can do, you can marry whomever you want to marry so long as it doesn't cause them harm, physical and psychological. So we would say that, well, if you, if you were to be intimate with a 14-year-old or, you know, 13-year-old who's got huge hips and huge breasts and huge body, I, I mean, quite frankly, we would say, hey, this is your pile of you. If you go for the girl that's got the hips. And once again, people, it's very relative. I mean, I'm not going to claim that this guy's sketch is some sort of superhero, but I am glad that he got through this without harming himself. Like, you just know as he got more and more famous, he wondered if and when this skeleton would jump out of his closet. Like, he even mentions having this dark past. There was a time last year and I just, like, had a prayer where I was like, I want to be happy, I want to travel, and I want to meet people. And God answered me like crazy, like, really? Yeah. Wow. And you really were pray praying that? Yeah. No, he humbled me, for sure. It should serve as a lesson, though, too, that you really do have to be careful about doing this type of explicit work online because it can definitely come back to harm you. And in this instance, moving forward, this will definitely take some opportunities from him. And that would be the case whether these videos were of him having relations with a man or a woman. It's really just the way it is when someone has that type of material of themselves online. But I do want to know what you guys think about this entire situation down below. As always, also want to thank you guys for watching today's video, dropping a like and subscribe subscribing but as you guys know it's been your boy the tan superman and some other online drama out he needs to be covered so i'm out peace